Hello everyone, in today's video I will be playing Space Sailors, a fun space game in Roblox where you get to work at a space island. It's actually just an island, there's no way to, no, no other good way to put that. Oh, rocket's about to launch. Now, I have done two other videos on this game, but, oh my gosh, the umbrellas are bouncy. Um, <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked. I have made two other videos on this game, but in those two videos, they did not have the ability to They did not have the ability to go to Mars, so, yeah, the rocket is very loud. We have the 12 more buttons here as usual. Um, oh my gosh, 1 in 62 rockets fail. Ugh, that doesn't make my odds good, does it? <laughs> Project Artemis. Nice. So, Rocket just launched, um, I was gonna put on my spacesuit. There we go, that's a bit better. Look at my face. Looking good. Um, that's weird, a bunch of debris just flew out. It's kind of weird. The rocket can blow up in this game, so, <laughs> um, yeah. Alright, time to get into the rocket. Um, and soon we are going to lift off. Oh yeah. Um, it can control when I lift Stand off. T minus twenty seconds. Oh yeah. Oh, someone else is getting in the rocket. You forgot your spacesuit. Yeah, go go back and get your spacesuit. Oh no. He fell <laughs> off. He lives though. He's fine. The thing I love about this game is that the physics are realistic like it's really Rockets lift off. Here's a photo of the Saturn V doing the exact same thing. Yeah, it's doing the thing. I don't know why I keep calling it that. It's weird. So, um, yeah. In today's video, we will be going to Mars because, like I said earlier, they added it. And, yeah, someone else just start at a launch hopefully their rocket doesn't ram into ours so let's go inside the capsule okay my roblox skin isn't getting disfigured yet but it's getting there you can see the little logo thing some stuff that some of the orange parts of the suit are bleeding onto the slightly darker orange oh Looks like I missed the stage separation. I think that's one of the platforms you can skydive from. That white little dot my mouse is following right there. Right there. <laughs> I don't know if it'd be safe to parachute from this height. Or, not parachute. Skydive from this height without a parachute. Only works under 20,000 studs. 
Um, yeah, we're well under that threshold. Um, oh, there goes the launch escape system. How beautiful. I mean, come on, look at this shot. We have the... Here, let me get it just right. There we go. We got the earth down below. Slowly. Slowly. Going away. Or, I guess we're going away from it. And the sun in the background. It's kind of weird. It's a little glitch. You can see the sun without any of the... Other stuff showing up. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Thought the sun was yellow. Like, a yellowish-orange, not completely white. Hmm. I guess the sunlight surrounding it is kind of white, so... Or, yellow. That's what I meant to say, yellow. Um... Any second, this bottom part's gonna fall away. And we are going to... Speed up to get into orbit. Or... We were already speeding up to get into orbit, but I guess we'll go even faster. It's gonna separate any second. Five, four, three, two. I don't actually know when it's gonna stop. One. Nope, didn't fall away. Um. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Just fell away. There goes the propellant. Oh, look at that. The little blue propellant coming out of the teensy little engine. How beautiful. Oh, that shot. Okay, um, there are a few things I want to talk about. Keeping on the subject of space, I have recently been photographing the Orion Nebula and if you're wondering how I'm doing that if you've been keeping up with the Nikon P1000 series I've been doing um yeah my camera is doing the work um yeah it's a really awesome camera and yeah I got some really good footage maybe uh, maybe I'll even do a video on it once I get those images stacked, get the image processed and edited, I'm going to have some really good shots. Definitely going to put that in the video. And secondly, I mentioned this in my last video. You guys are destroying, and I mean destroying the subscribers. I've gained, like... My percentage of subscribers has gone up so much. Like, I don't even know how to put it. I'm, like, so amazed. I've passed 200 subscribers. And my 100 subscriber live stream was about a month ago. So, I guess I'll be doing a 200 subscriber live stream. I will be announcing when... That will happen in the end of the video. Once we're on Mars, I guess. And besides that, there's nothing really else to mention. So, um, yeah. I guess we're just gonna keep flying until we get to the docking bay at the moon. Which we will use to get to Mars. So, yeah, I guess I'll time lapse. Alright, so we are here at the Lunar Gateway Space Station, and yeah, we were here in the moon video. This guy's got his spacesuit on. Um, this, this pod goes to land on the moon, or capsule I guess, not a pod. Leave the Earth. This is where we go to go to Mars, undock and leave Earth. This is a big area. 
to spend well for space it's big like all this open space all right there's that and this goes to this goes back to the earth i guess and this goes outside um but where we want to go is out of the earth undock and leave earth we can go to mars and Ceres, but we aren't gonna go to Ceres today maybe in a future video but we want to go to mars so the mars capsule is nearly as big as the rest of the station it's insane how big it is um this looks like the thing we're gonna use to get onto mars my gosh the solar panels are humongous too all right making our final turn towards the red planet is earth visible oh there go the thrusters goodbye moon and wherever the earth is goodbye to it too <laughs> um yeah i guess we should just fast forward until we get to mars so um yeah fast forwarding seven months all right here we are um okay um what do we have here we have a bed can take a nap in before we go down to the surface um we have um a hospital station um i don't know maybe a cooking station i don't even know what this is um a bathroom station and yeah i'm gonna put on my spacesuit and go explore outside so waiting for the outside to depressurize or if it depressurized then that would be very bad for the other passenger without a spacesuit so um no he left anyways so it'd be fine we are traveling quite fast these are in kilometers we're traveling about four every second so oh my gosh the red planet also known as mars Oh, for a second I thought that was Earth. It was that bug again. Look. I can see the sun. Except, like, there's nothing even blocking it. I can just see it. Like, would appear a lot smaller than if I was looking at it in Earth's orbit. So, yeah. Here's the lander again. Nothing really else to explore. These solar panels are gigantic. Like I explained before. Um. Yeah. I actually forgot how to get back inside. I think it's here. Um. Need to depressurize this. Then I think I can go inside. Alright. Almost there. And... All right, let's go back inside and enter Mars's atmosphere. All right, waiting for this place to pressurize back up. I can open the hatch, remove my spacesuit, and yeah, I don't know where I go to go to Mars. Oh, it's here. Would you like to land on Mars? Yes. Yep, I was right. That is the little capsule to go down to the surface. Okay, fast forwarding a few hours. All right. I'm waiting. And, oh. Here we are. Um, You're on your way to land on Mars. Or, you're on your way to landing on Mars. Please sit tight as your vessel performs entry, descent, and landing. 
Ooh, that sounds interesting. I'm gonna want to watch this re-entry. I'll fast forward it for you guys. In other words, I'll just do a time lapse until we re-enter. Oh, it looks like our heat shield expanded. Oh, there we go. We're re we're entering the atmosphere, not re-entering. We were re-entering. That means we'd we would have already had to have been on Mars's surface, go into space, and go back in. Not re-entry. It's just entry. So, all right, we're losing a lot of speed. Okay. Currently, we're so far away from the Earth, it would take light 20 minutes to get from the Earth to the Moon. 20 entire minutes. Light travels very fast at nearly 3 million meters a second, and it takes 20 minutes to get from Earth to Mars. That is crazy. All right, we're about to land on the surface. We're still going pretty fast. Some engines start better, or <laughs> start better. There we go. Those engines gotta work fast, otherwise it's gonna be a rough landing. Okay, it looks like there's a bunch of stuff over there, so we'll make our way over there. Look at the surface. I'm guessing that might be Olympus Mons. Maybe we've landed close to it. In that case, it would be very cool. It also looks like it just turned into a pyramid. And we have landed. Wow. Um. Alright. We're here. This is one small step for man. One enormous leap for mankind. Not just giant. Enormous. This is actually a pretty big leap for a mere human. It's like at least three meters. All right, let's do this. We are now on Mars. <laughs> All right. Um, can pick up some Martian samples. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, I already did pick it up. Okay. Iron oxide. Also, ni also known as rusty iron. That makes the surface appear red. Um, drop off sample. Do I have to do this? Um, oh, yep, that worked. Alright, we got some samples to bring back. I should probably get a little bit more. I wonder if we'll see any rovers. Um, I think that's a manned rover. Like, one of the rovers that NASA sent, like Curiosity or Perseverance. Wonder if we're gonna see any of them. Hey there, dude. Whoa. Low gravity made that jump pretty high. If we were on Earth, that vehicle would most likely stay on the ground because of how heavy it would probably be. Way heavier than a normal vehicle. Is my guess. There's uh, another one coming up behind me. Don't run me over, please. Hello. Oh. Yeah, this guy's giving me a ride. He's gonna drive me back to the station. Let's let's see what's inside these. Um. Okay, I gotta depressurize the vehicle first. Yeah, get your spacesuit on. That would be really bad if you had your spacesuit off with um you know what does that say vehicle not real this is a fictional rover inspired by inspired not inspired by real conceptual rovers interesting okay let's close this up and let's drive back um where are we going to the stations please <laughs> How polite. This guy's like an Uber driver or a taxi, except he's on Mars. <laughs>
quite a large and expensive vehicle to have for an Uber or taxi. Whoa! Look at that gravity. This vehicle is staying in the air. Whoa! Okay. <coughs> Alright, we're here. Um, here we are. I'd like to drive one of these too, so... Alright, let's go outside. Gonna close this back up for you. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's inside one of these little houses. Ready to open. Alright, we have the pressurizing and depressurizing doorway. Must be very expensive. Alright, ready to go inside. Let's see what's inside. Pretty much the same stuff as the uh, lunar, or no, not lunar, the Martian station. Yeah, that, sure. <laughs> so, what we have here, we have some plants, research about some plants and how they grow on Mars, some computers to type down our research, another hospital station. A bed station and a toilet station. Nice. Alright, let's go back outside. Let's go drive one of those big rovers. Oh boy. This is my very own Martian rover. Oh boy. Let's close this up. Time to drive. Oh yeah. <laughs> my gosh um can pressurize this again whoa oh my gosh that was a rough landing let's turn some lights on headlights searchlights why not in case a storm happens so um whoa what is that whoa 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 what is this what is this Oh my gosh, this looks like a space exploration vehicle for $65,000. I only have $1,800 available anywhere, anytime. Huh, might invest in that one day. <laughs> looks like another lander just came in. Let's go see if he's still in it. Hmm. Looks like he came out. Oh, wait. Nope, he's still... Oh, he's launching. Oh, dang. There he goes. Back up to the Mars station. Safe travels, my friend. And the bottom stays behind, just like the... Apollo pro programs. Lunar landers did. <laughs> Let's go explore this crater. Jeez, this is a really big crater. Let's drive in it. Oh, yeah. With my epic character. Got my Doge card. <laughs> Doge went to the moon. And now, my character... Or, I guess they're both kind of my character. And now, this rainbow dude is bringing Doge along with him. Alright, can we make it out of this crater? Come on, Martian vehicle. Get some traction! Oh! No, don't fall back down. <laughs> it's the last thing I want to happen. There's a lander coming in over there. Looks like a few more launched. And he just landed. Another lunar... Or why do I keep saying lunar? Martian. A Martian vehicle driving its wheels off over there. Um, I think it's only fitting to put our flag on the tallest mountain possible. And that looks like it's this one. Unless Le Olympus Mons isn't far away. Um, here's a little fun fact. Olympus Mons is the tallest mountain in the solar system at about 21 kilometers tall. Nearly three times the height of Mount Everest. 
but it's actually about like five times wider than it is tall. It's a it's a volcano too, which is pretty cool. Come on! Oh my gosh, the even the rover can't go up all the way. Looks like we're gonna have to do the rest on foot. All right, spacesuit back on. Production info: vehicle pressurized Mars terrain vehicle made by NASA. Year landed 2020. Oh, it's 2020. Dang, I went two years in the past. It's 2022 right now. Dang. All right, let's make our way up to the top of this mountain over here. Looks like someone are. Someone might have already planted their flag. Um. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna choose a random country. Whichever one I land on first is the flag I will be picking. So. And I'm gonna stop now. Well, looks like we're. Representing the entire country of Yemen. <laughs> kind of looks like the Egyptian flag a little bit. Alright. Let's make our way to the top. That looks like a pyramid. Alright, look at this place. Landed in this cool little valley area. Very interesting. Another lander is coming in. Oh my gosh. Look at the detail. You know how I was talking about how realistic this game is? Well, that's what I was talking about. Like... Come on, this game is just too realistic for Roblox. Roblox doesn't deserve this game. <laughs> My gosh. Alright, let's plant our flag. And let's place it on the highest point of this mountain. It looks like it's right here. Alright, let's do this. Bam. Placed it a bit sideways. Um, Record observation. Something smiled at me during my descent in the opposite direction of the sun at noon. I'm not a fan of conspiracy theories or aliens, but I would like to send it to NASA regardless. Something smiled at you? Oh my gosh, it must have been terrifying. Alright, um, we have our cool little flag. Barely planted to the ground. Um, it's also very sideways. I assume because it's barely planted into the ground. Not ground. My gosh. Look at that beautiful face. Alright. Um. Wow. This has been. Um. Really cool. <laughs> we landed on Mars in Roblox. So. I think that's a fitting place to end the video. So. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below if you want to see more stuff like this. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And yeah, I am now going to explain when the live stream will be coming out. So, I will try and do a bit better with the timing on this time, on this live stream. I uploaded it on a Saturday, or a Sunday last time. That was a very bad time. I will do it on a Saturday at any time. So if it doesn't work on one Saturday, I'll have to wait another week and try it again the next Saturday. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for the live stream and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.